Hey, good morning, Ultra Sabres. Calculon here on the Sabre forums. And this is my Guardian. Emerald, Driver, Obsidian V4, finally back from Ultra Sabres. Got some fan here. How did you not? Anyways. You're looking at my first order ever placed to Ultra Sabres. My Guardian went to many different order changes. Originally was a Eon V4 or something, a um, Chosen One, and a Graflex, and I ultimately went with the Guardian for a couple of key reasons. Now one, the MHS Pommel breaks up into three pieces, so Lots, lots of mashup potential there. Uh, second, three retention screws for extra safety. If your screws are long enough, they will penetrate into the chamber, emitter chamber, and help this guy hold your blade in place. I'll get to why these aren't exactly long enough, but potentially three retention screws. Another strong selling point. And Another reason are these emitter windows. The Guardian has three. Got to pay extra for that in other sabers. In addition, the last addition I guess to that is the CoverTech wheel. Come standard. Took mine off when I had work done to my saber, and I asked Emery if he could. Give me a button to hold my shroud in place. This shroud fits over this hilt, and this button keeps it from rattling. Anyways, the work done. Uh, really quick, I wanted to have this area here buffed out because it was really sharp and it would chew up my gloves. Uh, these sections here are a little sharp. You can catch your finger. I had to buff that down a little bit. And also a couple of these sections around the emitter weren't done if you can see. The light catches it. They're all angled so it's not like a razor blade. A couple of those had been missed probably because all the order changes I went through. And it came back nice and pretty, although I had to do a couple of these things myself. They changed my switch from silver to black, always on, to match the grip. Blue LED. It gave me correct knob placement, because these used to be switched around. And that's why it took a month plus to get my saber back. So I'm so happy to get it back, reunited. Uh, now everyone should be getting correct knob placement. If you're not, I don't know what's up with that. Anyways, that covers why I set my uh, my hilt off. Uh, one last thing I want to cover, a couple of things, but uh, something very important to me is Canon Sabres, Luke, Vader, Obi-Wan, and display modes. If you're going to dish out... You got yourself a Canon Saber. Saber. <laughs> saber. Get yourself a recharge port, always on switch, uh, a silent font, and an emerald driver. The force is unusually strong with him. This is your. Yoda. You seek Yoda. Obsidian V4 <laughs> in action. That is my silent font indicator. Confirm. Truth be told, this is not a 100% silent font. Uh, anyways, display mode. Canon Sabres. This is how you do it. You get yourself a recharge port, always on switch, silent font, emerald driver, and you let this thing shine. Plug it in, sits pretty all day. Uh, get yourself a pulse that's not likely to cause a seizure. Yeah, good to go all day. And if that's still too much. 
a yeah, slow transition from like blue to green. Is still too much for you? Nice and simple. Plug it in. Your switch will do the job for you. Beautiful first saver to have. Great first saver to have. The mirror windows, three retention screws, multi piece pommel, free uh, cover tech wheel. You can't go wrong. And with Canon sabers and display modes, with all that other stuff I mentioned, you really got to do it. Uh, my kids really love that Mario sound font, by the way. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching this long. Uh, thank you, Ultra Sabers, for getting my order to me on time. Love our sabers. Uh, really quick, if you have a problem with your battery, this is a pry tool for a smartphone. Get one of these guys, pry your battery out, good to go. Anyways, uh, thank you once again. Check out the do-it-yourself section. Get yourself some hilts, figure out your sound, and get a better understanding of your lightsaber. Have a good night, and thank you for watching. Thank you.